What's up guys, it's Abop, and in this video we're going to be talking about RPG versus stun gun. We're going to talk about which one's better and why. So first things first, let's talk about some pros and some cons. So we have the RPG, aka the Fly Swatter 9000. It one shots lights, that's a huge pro. And then it does a lot of damage to the environment, it does splash damage, and it just goes boom and explodes. That's always pretty cool in this game. Now let's talk about some cons. Uh. It has a longer cooldown. There's that. I don't know. So let's talk about some pros and cons of the stun gun. Pros. <laughs> Slows down your aim. Stops you from aiming. Stops you from sprinting. Stops you from stealing. Stops you from rezzing. And stops pretty much all of your actions. Another one of the pros is if you like being annoying, it's annoying. <laughs> So what about the cons? So you do have to be pretty precise and you do have to be within range. Also, it doesn't do any damage, only emotional damage. Emotional damage! All right, with that being said, which one's better? So here's the question that I'm going to ask everyone. Would you bring a stun gun to an RPG fight? I wouldn't, I would not. But on a more serious note, I actually do believe that the RPG is the more powerful overall gadget. It has more utility and is more versatile. So why is everyone saying nerf the stun gun? It's because it's frustrating. <laughs> so let's hop into some very precise, technical, scientific testing. So here is test number one. Watch this RPG kill. Gone, and then you get over it. Now watch this stun kill. Did you see how long the pain and suffering and torture and misery was? Yes, that has to go. So obviously I'm exaggerating, you know, just a tiny smidge bit. And I did cheat a little bit and slow down the footage. But at the end of the day, the message is the stun gun just needs a change in my opinion. It doesn't need a nerf. I want it to be powerful. I want it to be strong, but it is simply frustrating to go against. So let's talk about the big boy. So does the RPG need any nerfs or buffs? I don't think so. I think it's actually in a pretty good spot right now, which is why I'm just slightly confused about the photo that's on the Steam page. Personally, I think that's either a placeholder or an alternative game mode, but I could be completely wrong. What I will say though, is that whatever Embark decides to do balancing wise, I actually completely trust their decision making. They came up with one of the most fun games I have ever played in my life. And it feels so nostalgic. It feels like old Battlefield back when it was fun to die. You don't get that anymore. So with that being said, whatever they do, I am pretty sure I am gonna be all here for it. That's the end of this video. And if you like this video, make sure you hit some likes with that RPG.